working in Transport 3 uh, with special effects is uh, it's a very, very special thing because we didn't have much time to, to make the film, only 11 weeks of shooting. And uh, we wanted to make uh, a film very nervous, very aggressive. And therefore we decided to shoot every stunt in real, just uh, making a, a place for the backgrounds. But uh, to keep that uh, aggressivity and that nervosity, everything has been done like you could see there in real. All the jumps and things uh, like this were done with several cameras shooting. And after uh, we put uh, with uh, Rodolphe Chabri, with uh, the hard director in VFX uh, for MacGuff, uh, we put everything together, as you could see in the images, everything together. Uh, the plates and so on. So it was, uh, it was uh, really, really not hard, but uh, it was strange to do because, uh, as I said previously, uh, we had to shoot, uh, for example, one piece of one shot uh, in, in February, another piece in March, another piece uh, in, um, in, uh, in June, and then you have to put everything together and, uh, uh, and pray for uh, everything to, uh, to fit. We didn't use so much uh, 3D you know, images, except on uh, this shot when the car is coming uh, toward us, because we had a real uh, big problem, as you could see on the image, of uh, we have a problem of focus uh, because of the submarine camera. So we had to, uh, to take the 3D car and uh, to make it fit on the real image and to put uh, the bullet, uh, you know, the bullet uh, travels and so on after. For the explosion, uh, all the explosions of the film, and especially this one of the, in the train, it was exactly the same kind of work. We shot several plates of explosion, uh, breaking glass and, and so on, and, uh, and then put it everything together with the compositing to make it uh, at a real great, uh, great film explosion because don't forget it's a French film and not an, an American one so it's not very useful for us to see this in the French film.